Jumbo, everyone. Princess and the Bear here, and we're back at Animal Kingdom Lodge Jumbo House. And this time, because we feel like falling. It's time to go to Victoria Falls. It is one of our favorite bars, indoor bars, at Disney World. And we haven't paid it any love recently, so. No, we have not. We need to do that. We are giving you guys tips to spend your time here at Disney wisely. It's hot outside. Go inside, have a drink. Let's go get one. Be sure to Asante song. You heard the girl. Watch me now. I think Asante song is thank you. Oh. Kill Marita, but typically they use a tangerine liqueur, which makes it like more African inspired. The tangerine liqueur is unconfirmed, but I did read the ingredients online and there was some questionable things about the sugar that they use. So I just decided to play it safe and modify this to have Grand Marnier in it instead because I know that's safe. It's really tasty. It's just like a really nice light cranberry margarita. It's just a lime margarita actually with cranberry juice. And um, I really like it. I think I would put cranberry juice like in my margaritas at home and drink them like this because it just gives you like a little extra like pop to your lime margarita. But I, re I really enjoy it. I'm gonna give this a four out of five margaritas. I'll take one margarita, two margaritas. Three margaritas. But I'm not doing all those things after the margaritas. Don't worry, community. Bear to the rescue. Trust me. All the things the princess won't do for you for margaritas, a bear definitely will. <laughs> With only one margarita, I'm an easy day. Ooh. Mount Kalima something. I feel like I'm climbing something. I feel refreshed. The air is nicer up there. That is a good beverage. I think the princess switching out the Grand Marne for the, the tangerine was a good choice. Given her options, tangerine can be a strong flavor sometimes, but it still feels of the mouth. I would give it four out of five plus. Now here we have the Victoria Falls Mist, and that really looks like jungle water. I've had mini golf water, I've had lemonade water. This is more like jungle rain, hence the mist. Now this has this same tangerine liqueur that was supposed to be the princess drink that's in mine. Again, we weren't able to confirm that it was vegan or not. So I'm the one trying it. It's got that Sprite. We got some rum in here filled to the absolute brim. It's risking it for the biscuit. I love that. That drink tastes like the forest sounds in the sound booths in Animal Kingdom used to feel in my ears. I miss those rooms. 3.75 out of 5 plus. So here we have this beautiful olive plate. It reminds me of olives that you can get from Topolino's. It's the only plant-based thing on the menu, so that's why I ordered it. I ordered it with bare um, agreements that he would eat most of this. I'm just gonna take, I see one of these red ones. Bear says that's easier for me. I'm gonna take it with these um, almonds, so hopefully it helps the taste. Olives are just so pungent and salty. And I feel like it's only in rare situations that I actually like it. Like, the last time I think I enjoyed something that had olives on it was at Be Our Guest. Prior to that, I can't think of anything. I don't even think I enjoyed the muffaletta at Boardwalk Deli that much. This is good. It's salty. I like the almonds. I would, I would enjoy something with more of the almonds. I'm probably gonna go to the Mara and see if they have the chickpea sandwich because it's not on the app. That hurts my heart. I'm gonna give the olives a 
two and a half out of five olives. It's average, but tasty. But not for somebody like me that doesn't love olives. Like, this is for somebody that likes to go to an olive bar and eat olives. Or like, if you're one of those people that likes to put olives on your fingers and eat them off, this is, this is the plate for you. It's odd, this olive plate. Olives have never been an always get thing for me. As a child, if my food touched an olive, there was no way in the world I was gonna eat them. Like, not gonna happen. It touched it, and therefore it was contaminated like damaged goods. Somebody else is gonna have to eat that. Nowadays, I will munch olives all day long. I don't normally eat olives straight out of a bowl with sliced almond. I feel like there should be some more accompaniment. I haven't been into this yet, but like, some hummus or breads. We know they do breads quite well here at Animal Kingdom Lodge. The fact that it's just olives in a spoon, it's quite odd. It's like olive soup. Because it's full of like the juices that are down in there, swimming in it. But it's just olives and almonds and shavings of something. Very strange. Preserved lemon. Preserved lemon. So all the citrus. And then the sharp, salty taste of an olive. This is gonna be interesting. I think the olive definitely got the almond with the olive definitely adds some earthiness. The olive, the olive definitely needs, so it's not overpowering. I think though it needs more of the shaved almonds. But it's definitely not enough for everything that's in here. But I feel like it's something that like you should share with the table and like pick at with like a toothpick. Like I wouldn't want to try to eat this multiple olives at a time with a spoon. That's just too much, too much flavor. One olive at a time, shared amongst friends and some drinks, feels like the like opportune. Either that, or with some sort of bread or chip. I would give it three out of five minutes. Here we have the Victoria Falls goat cheese dip. Now it just says goat cheese dip and an assortment of breads. So I have no idea what this mound of stuff here is on top. I'm assuming, given the, the trend so far, that it's probably some sort of olive tapenade, but we're gonna find out together. Like a true adventure, because the wilderness must be explored. Let's go ahead and just dip this one chip in here. Let me just see what this is. A shake. It definitely smells like olives. 100% like a nice roasted in this pot, which is an actual like clay pot. I don't know those fake plastic dealies of goat cheese. You see the little the char on top. That is an olive tapenade, just like I guess. So you have that nice salty olive flavor with the cheese and the assortment of breads. It's definitely a plate. Like most things served here, it is like a sharing portion. Uh, obviously the princess can't have any goat cheese because that's clearly not vegan and they don't that we found yet make a vegan goat cheese. Uh, but it's quite cheesy. If you like cheese, like me, and you're lactose intolerant, you may want to look into goat cheese. Goat cheese is actually one of those cheese that I can handle with no magic pills. I would give this three and a half out of five plus. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do one of the other breads that I have, which is basically a little African pita. We're gonna do some of this goat cheese. I'm gonna spread it here on top. I'm gonna take a little bit of this olives with the sliced goat cheese and or the sliced almonds. We're gonna make a little African charcuterie. This is definitely the way to go. You're here with friends. This is the new Princess in the Bear hack. You order the olives with the spiced almonds and the goat cheese dip and just go wild. You and your friends will have an amazing time and a nice little fill. It's like an after park, like relaxing things and drinks and some snacks. This together raises it to a four out of five claws. We're gonna call it the uh, olive and goat stampede. So here we have the tried and true chickpea salad sandwich. I had to go grab this from the Mara because as I've said a couple of times, I made a long, sad, grieving session in our vegan and plant-based 
Disney food, or what's it called? Disney vegan and plant-based food Facebook group. We had a grieving session over our plant-based tuna salad sandwich. And so now all we have is remnants and this chickpea salad sandwich. So I thought, since we're here, might as well grab one and eat it in honor of my beloved plant-based tuna sandwich. It is a chickpea version of my beloved sandwich with less, like, fixins, but it's still really tasty. I love everything at the Mara. I love the bowl. I love the falafel. I love their tabbouleh. I love the sandwich. I just miss my tuna sandwich. But this is still a five out of five. This is still a princess size item. I'm gonna eat all of this with no shame. And I'm kind of sad that Barry even gets to take one bite because it's that good. Because I appreciate the princess's sacrifice, I'm gonna treat this with reverence and care and not bite into it as a bear would. Just needs a spot of tea. Very still great mixture. You get this sort of like potato salad, family sort of deal, but with chickpeas. Obviously there's egg and potato salad, but it's got a very good salad -y flavor. The multi-grain bread, nice. I can see why the princess likes this sandwich so much. If you want something light, I always recommend this sandwich. Very tasty. It's like a full meal kit. You get the sandwich, you get a little bit of tabbouleh, and then you get like a Mediterranean salad as well. It's good. It's a four and a half out of five. So if you're plant-based and you're here, you're not eating it, or even just getting this to go and run in the parks, you're doing yourself a disservice. So keeping with the refreshing feeling, here we have the Savannah Rains, and this is made with the African Star Rum, which is unconfirmed vegan, so I'm the princess, and more rain for me. It feels like a... Head glitch from Bear. Feels like a refreshing drink. Feels like Bambi. It's given montage scenes in Lion King. But we're gonna drink it anyway. Very gingery. Like, if the princess could drink the rum, if it was vegan, this would be a mule that would go straight to her heart. Given Pumba. The strong and not silent type. I give it 3.75 out of 5 bars. It's mule It's very mule -licious. This isn't Disney, but Donkey would be proud. Did you guys really expect that I would come to Animal Kingdom Lodge and not get a flamingo cake? Because if you thought that I was gonna come here and not get one of these, you were sorely mistaken. I have forced Bear to come to this, res this resort just for this cake when I'm having a chocolate craving and then go home. This is like in my top five favorite desserts in all of Disney World. So yes, I'm gonna get a freaking flamingo cake and it's gonna be amazing. Now this cake you can only get at, consistently you can get at the Mara and sometimes if you have a nice server at Boma, they'll give it to you. Our last service experience at Boma was pretty terrible. They didn't want to serve us at all. They pretty much blamed us for being there. So we did not get dessert, but you guys have told us that it is possible. So I appreciate you that have gotten it. Me, I just come here and just get the cake and leave because cake life. I know I said I was gonna need a minute with my creme brulee, and I love that creme brulee from Artist Palette. Love. But I'm also gonna need to get a room with this flamingo cake. Maybe the flamingo cake and I will get a nicer room here in Jumbo House than the room I would have gotten with the creme brulee at Saratoga. Who knows? Either way, I want it all. I want it all. In all the ways. So good.
Princess Season, and this is 5 out of 5. It's so fun. Asante Sana, Victoria Falls. Always an amazing time. Drinks, relaxation, the sounds, the ambiance Tomorrow. of Animal Kingdom Lodge, Amara, and the Princess's uh, Flamingo Cake. Great time. And then it's like to us, it's a perfect day night. You come here, you get some snacks and drinks. And then, like you just saw, we take a walk out on the savannah. Yeah, it's, it's a nice, I didn't see the Starlight Safari running, but that's okay. We did that before, and it was amazing. But you can just come here and just enjoy the animals without doing the Starlight Safari. And it's the perfect time in Florida in summer, when the sun nice. is not out. Yeah. But uh, we want to know how come you guys don't visit Victoria Falls more. Let us know in the comments below. If there's any other lounges you would like to see us do, we are lounge people. Let us we know are. in the comments below. Also, I forgot to say this in the last couple of videos, but it's getting to be spooky season. Yes. And you like bear shirts, that being me. Uh, I need new shirt recommendations. So if you have a small shop with shirts that I like, and I am picky, recommend if you have a sh your own shop, a friend shop, a shop you prefer, let it, let us know in the comments. We, I will pick a shirt and feature you in our video. We especially prefer it if you are in the POC or LGBT community. But we will take anybody that has amazing art. Yes. If I like your shirt, like I said, we will feature you in the video, give you a shout out, tag you in the video. Want to help everybody else, like everybody else in this community has helped us. I need, I need good shirts. You get to get featured. Either way, let us know. If there's anything else you can see us do, of course, the comments are always a good place to find us. Hit the notification bell, you'll see other videos like this, and... We have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Friday. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe, otherwise Bear might never explore this jumbo house again. And I will be here by myself and he'll just yeet himself to Kidani and then I'm gonna Starlight Safari and see all these animals by myself. We're just gonna love the earth and planet and Bear's just gonna be a bear. You heard the girl.